Ms. Yvonne C. Brill has won the inaugural Kate Gleason Award for expanding the frontiers of space through innovations in rocket and jet propulsion, including the invention of the hydrazine resistor jet engine used for geosynchronous and low Earth orbit communication satellites, and for having the foresight to champion the hybrid monopropellant rocket engine. The most wonderful thing when, when one is honored in this way uh, by receiving a, uh, an, an honor like the Kate Gleason Award is uh, it makes other women aware that, that one can achieve uh, a lot. Yvonne Brill is an expert at achieving a lot. She was recently awarded the National Medal of Technology and Innovation, the highest honor bestowed by the United States government on scientists, engineers, and inventors. President Obama praised the recipients in a White House ceremony. And that's why we recognize them today. Because America's always been a place where good ideas can thrive and dreams can become real. Where innovation is encouraged and the greatest minds in the world are free to push the very limits of science and technology. Brill's innovations dramatically improved the effectiveness of space propulsion systems. My involvement in actually understanding uh, what happened during the catalytic decomposition of hydrazine as a spacecraft propellant led me to uh, realize that if we heated the exhaust products to a higher temperature, we could achieve a 35% increase in performance. RCA implemented her discovery in 1983, and since then companies such as GE and Lockheed Martin have used it in their communication satellites. Not all of her bosses, though, expected such outstanding performance from a woman. When I started RCA in 1966, the uh, head of uh, the, the uh, HR department was a fairly elderly gentleman, and he didn't really believe that a woman with three children could get to work on time. <laughs> and not only did I get to work on time, I worked long hours uh, during proposal phases because I was the only person there in propulsion, and, and he eventually apologized to me because I turned out to be his best recruiting agent. Throughout her years of inventing and engineering, she remained excited about the work. I was always very, very interested in the work I did. You know, when a satellite went up, even if you weren't at the launch, it was uh, uh, just, just great thinking that, you know, you could identify with a piece of hardware in the sky it's just really gratifying to think that something turned like that turned out to be so useful. Like Kate Gleason before her, she was driven to achievements that had previously been known only to men. Kate Gleason was, was truly a pioneer, and she was the first woman to be allowed to be a member of the ASME. And her work, I mean, she just went about and, 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 and did what she had to do. And I've always felt that way too. It's, it's, I, I sort of, I think I have her spirit. 